Hello students, welcome to this mathematics session looking at area approximation. In our last session we looked at uh, the trapezium or the trapezoidal method and I hope you've been able to work out the various questions that were sent your way. So we're looking at another way of estimating the area, the third method, which we call the mid-ordinate rule. Uh, in the trapezium method, we were able to divide the region whose area we want to estimate into trapeziums. And we went ahead to calculate the same area. So what happens in the mid-ordinate rule? The first thing will go straight to deriving the rule itself and see what happens. So for example, in this case, I have a graph of y equals to x squared. And we want to estimate the area bounded by the curve, the x-axis, the lines x equals to 1, and the lines x equals to 5. So simply, this is the graph. This is the x-axis. Those are the two boundaries. Then we have the fourth boundary here, the line, the third boundary, that is the line x equals to 1. And finally, this boundary here, that is the line x equals to 5. So in the mid-ordinate rule, what we do, we divide this region into rectangles. Remember, the area of a rectangle is given by length times width. So you divide this region into rectangles of equal uh, widths here. So that in this case, we have a length of 5 to 1. That is 5 minus 1, 4. So if I need 4 rectangles, then we can have a rectangle of length 1 unit, 1 unit. If I need 2 rectangles, then this is 4 units divided by 2. We'll have a length of 2. So let's take a situation where we are going to use 4 rectangles. Therefore, it means that the length of each rectangle will be the length 4, remember this is 4 which is 5 minus 1, divided by, we need 4 rectangles, therefore, we'll use a, a width, not length, a width, which we shall denote with the letter H, a width of 1 unit. So, from 1 to 2, we'll have a rectangle there. From 2 to 3, we have a rectangle from 3 to 4, we'll have a rectangle. And finally, from 4 to 5, the last rectangle. You note that when you look at this rectangle, it has the boundary at x equals to 1 and at x equals to 2. Now, where do we or which do we use as the height? We don't take either of this length or this length, but we take the height at the midpoint of this rectangle. And therefore, the height here will be the height at x equals to 1.5. And because you are taking it at the midpoint, remember we call this the, our first ordinate. This is why we call it the mid-ordinate. So the height of the rectangle is taken at the midpoint of the rectangle. Notice that by so doing, By so doing, when you take this as the height, then you are assuming that our rectangle will be up to that point. Therefore, it will have included a part here that is outside the graph, but it's not under the graph. It will also exclude this part here that should be in the graph, but it's not uh, in our graph. So in that case, it's still an estimation. Then the rectangle from 2 to 3 will take the ordinate at the midpoint there, that is it, which will be at x equals to 2.5. So this will be the rectangle now that you'll get from that. And you can see it has included this part, which is outside. It has excluded this part, 
which is inside because the rectangle now will be this rectangle at this point so this will be our first ordinate this is our second ordinate then three to four we take the height at 3.5 the mid ordinate so if we take that rectangle there so you'll assume that the area is the area of that rectangle you see it has a uh, included that part as part of the graph and it has excluded that part which is in the graph but it will be counted as if it's not under the graph so we divide the region into rectangles of equal width and the height is taken at the center included excluded region so in this case now this is our second our first our second ordinate our third ordinate and that is our fourth ordinate please note how many rectangles do we have one two three four how many ordinates do we have one two three four and in this case now the area of our region will be the area of rectangle one plus the area of rectangle two plus the area of rectangle three or the rectangles that we have and we have taken these rectangles with an equal length in this case our length is one unit therefore that not length you bear with me should be the width we've used the same width so if we denote that equal width with h then the area of rectangle one will be uh, the length which is y naught times the width which is h the area of rectangle two will be y one times h y two times h and finally we have y3 times h because this height is equal then we can factor out the h so that we'll have the area will be h times the first ordinate added to the second ordinate added to the third ordinate added to the fourth ordinate and simply this is what we call the mid ordinate rule the only thing we need to do divide the region into equal rectangles but please note we take the height at the midpoint the height of the rectangle is taken at the midpoint of the rectangle and by that if you recall the trapezium for the trapezium if we were to use four trapeziums the ordinates used are five but in this when we use four rectangles the ordinates are four so therefore simply the area of a region can be estimated using the mid ordinate rule where if we have n rectangles this will be n ordinates and therefore the area of that region will be given by the common width times the first ordinate added to the second ordinate added to all the ordinates till the last ordinate and that is the what you call the mid ordinate rule I'd like us to use this as an example uh, we estimate the area of bounded by x squared the line x equals to 5 and the line x equals to 1 and also on the lower side the x-axis and therefore we'll go ahead and in this case 
we'll dis we've already determined our h is one unit and we have seen we've we are getting uh four rectangles so we'll have y naught y1 y2 y3 so the first y naught is when x remember this is the rectangle from 1 to 2 so the midpoint will be at 1.5 so when x is 1.5 what is that value of y there so it will be uh, 1.5 squared to give us 2.25 the second ordinate is when x equals to 2.5 which will give us 6.25 the third ordinate is when x equals to 3.5 and the value of y the graph is x squared that will be 3.5 squared to give us 12.25 and finally the last ordinate there the midpoint of 4 and 5 is 4.5 4.5 squared gives us 20.25 we can go ahead now and get the area it will be equal to our common width multiplied by y naught plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 which is 1 times 6.25 plus 12.25 plus uh, we've made a mistake there we've forgotten the first ordinate so this is area equals to the height is 1 into the first ordinate there 2.25 plus 6.25 plus 12.25 plus 20.25 and this when we add it will give us 41 square units 41 square units you can compare this with the value we got when we used the trapezium method because we determined or we estimated the area of the cell we found it to be 42 square units using the trapezium using mid ordinate we get 41 square units let's meet in the next session as we look at another example on mid ordinate rule